Alright guys, so if you're wondering why do I have a level 1 vest and no self revive and everything, well that's because I kinda failed to beat the red worm yesterday on the live stream. If you guys uh, saw that, it was pretty painful, so I kinda have to regain right now. And I think this would be a really nice time for us to talk a bit about the future of the game, because a new update is finally about to drop for Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, which can be pretty exciting, you know. It's kind of the biggest update of the game so far because it actually introduces some stuff that players have been wanting for a very, very long time. And as you guys see, I'm using the crossbow today because you don't need a crazy amount of money to back a punch this weapon. Type 1 will just do fine in any tier, so why not just use it today? Uh, but yeah, pretty much one of the biggest updates in the game is about to drop. I mean, in terms of actual content, we're pretty much going to get the same. We're going to get a new rift, a new mission, a new warlord... And three new schematics. And not gonna lie, the schematics are definitely not the best, but it is what it is, I guess. Uh, we're gonna have to unlock them. It's it's gonna be a bit of grinding, but... At the end of the day, it's not gonna keep us in the game for too long, which is pretty unfortunate. But, uh, other than this, there's gonna be some pretty substantial quality of life changes, I'll call them. Because after a lot of requests and everything, we're finally getting a stash upgrade. Uh, it's not a very, very big one. It's actually from 10 to 20. But you know what? Double is better than nothing. 20 is definitely better than 10. So I will take it. We have a Disciple HVT right here. Let's take this guy out very, very quick. Get ourselves a Cell Revive. But yeah, definitely not the biggest update ever. But this change to the stash, it's definitely more than welcome. Because people have been wanting this for so long. And it's actually nice that... Treyarch finally decided to listen to us. I don't know if it was Treyarch or Sledgehammer Games or whoever it was. It was a nice addition to the game. It will be a nice addition to the game, I guess. And other than this, there's going to be another one. And again, another really cool one that I've been wanting for a very long time. And that is to be able to reduce the cooldowns of the schematics by exfilling with assets. Just like it works on the insured weapon slots. So that means if you exfil with essence, you can reduce the cooldown for some of the schematics that you use that game. And we get a level 3 vest and a cell revive. That's pretty good. I'll take that. And on paper, that sounds pretty cool. I mean, we don't know yet how it's going to work and how much it's going to count, you know, depending on the essence you have. But again, I don't want anything crazy like in two games you can get the stuff back because that would be, again, a bit overpowered. So it would be a very nice way to... It would be a very cool thing to actually have to grind a few games to actually get your schematics back but will it count for every schematic that you used or will the money you exfil with is gonna only count for one schematic at a time so once you finish the cooldown for one schematic you move on to the next or is the money gonna count for all the schematics that you have on cooldown uh that is a question that i'm i'm very you know thoughtful of because they really have to, to think about this because if they do it for only one schematic I think a lot of people are gonna be pissed about it but if they do it for all schematics it could be I don't know a bit overpowered because there's a lot of people who I, I, I'm sorry for saying this but they glitch the essence they they multiply it wherever they do I don't know how it works because I don't do that and you know people could get back on on all the the schematics and everything in just no time so I really want to see how that is going to get balanced. And also we don't know how much essence we need for, for example, for an hour reduction of of the cooldown. So again, let's take this uh, with a pinch of salt. It might not be that amazing, but you know what? Uh, I'll I'll take it. It's it's another very welcome addition to the game that I've been wanting for, for a very, very long time. And you know what? Let's do this deliver cargo and then go to... With tier 3 actually uh but yeah in terms of content we're actually not gonna get too much i mean we're gonna get the same things but it feels like it's downgrading instead of actually upgrading when it comes to the quality of the content of course the new dark ether actually looks pretty insane apparently it's gonna be the hardest one so i'm de definitely looking forward for that but i mean for the schematic content it it's pretty lame the deadwire detonator is gonna be able to put deadwire on explosives and melee weapons i guess which I don't know how much people will like that. And then you have the gold gas mask, which basically it's a gas mask that refills itself, like the gold plates. 
And again, that thing might be useful for strongholds, might be useful for the red worm, but again, it's not going to be the craziest thing in the game. And then we have the something sergeant's beret or something like that. Basically, what that does is going to make you invisible to mercs. That could be cool because mercs can be pretty annoying, but yet again, not a lot of people go and fight mercs. So yeah, definitely we have to see how that is going to work out. But in terms of actual content, these new schematics are... Are definitely not what everybody want. Alright, I got a rift right here. Let's go to tier 3. And I'm really looking forward to the mission as well. Seemed like a pretty cool mission. We did get a tracer, a taser for the for the new mission coming in. Uh, apparently we're going to have to fight the disciple. That is going to do some things to Mr. Jensen. Mr. Jensen? Dr. Jensen. What the hell am I saying? Anyways, apparently he's going to control her mind and stuff like that. But yet again, Disciples are not, you know, people's favorite HVT. So that is going to be a cool fight. Especially if it's if it's a bit tougher. I do want the game to be a bit more challenging in those missions. Because you basically do the mission in the first game you go and then never touch it again. So, yeah. But I'm definitely looking forward to the new Dark Aether. It's going to be a pretty nice experience. And there's literally no contracts again. I really hope this is going to change with, with Reloaded. Because this is definitely getting a bit annoying. And I don't know why does it show the PND for me. Because, you know, I'm definitely not the one doing the contract. I'm going to go search for a Mega Abomination. We're not going to sit here too much anyways. I just want to get some things off my chest with this game. Uh, but yeah, not going to lie. The content is not getting too much better. Yeah, the stash upgrade is going to be nice. The cooldown think it's gonna be nice but at the end of the day it's it's not something that will keep you in the game for for a very long time and that is something that they really have to consider i know for season four there's a lot of rumors about the pvp mode to the zombie game and again i think that is a very very bad idea i know it might be a limited mode i know it might be separate from the main mode but i do not think that something like that should be in a zombie game imagine fighting the red worm solo to get that last schematic that you need or just to beat that guy and you have a backpack full of goodies and you almost beat the the, the the red worm or you actually beat him and then one team decides to stay somewhere in the back and you know snipe you while you just kill the guy get a good loot and then they just sit there snipe you and take everything from you like i don't really feel like pvp would work too well in this game or right here i'm fighting this mega abomination i'm trying to survive from all the zombies and everything and after i kill this i get a legendary tool and some better stuff and then a team right there is just gonna wait for me and kill me and take everything like again i really don't think like this will work the way that people want i'm just gonna throw that termite right there i'm kind of out of ammo and i don't want to jump down before i kill this guy come on buddy one more Mega Abomination. Laser. Come on. Show me those pearly whites. I guess you don't want to. There you go. And let me throw that there. And there we go. He's dead. And we get a path to crystal. You know what? I'll take that. Unfortunately, I don't... I didn't get a backpack, but that is okay. But yeah, because the, the game can be intense sometimes with a lot of zombies around you or when you're fighting a boss or anything like that. It can be extremely frustrating getting killed by a team who's just camping in a corner or something like that. So I definitely don't think that PvP is, is the best mode for this game. Uh, but yeah, I guess they, they definitely want to try it out and maybe they will. I heard about the PvP mode w w way back in the game. I was never really into zombies back then, but... Yeah, I, I, I don't think for, for this kind of game, I don't think it works. But let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think PvP will be a nice addition? I know some people really enjoy PvP. I enjoy PvP myself. I played a lot of DMZ. And PvP was like a huge aspect of the game. And I love it. And I loved it. Because I don't play that game anymore. But in a game like this, PvP is, is definitely not the way to go. Maybe they're testing things. Maybe it's actually not going to be as bad as we think. But I don't know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of that. And we just get an ammo mod for all of that. Pretty unfortunate. 
All right, can we actually do a contract around here? That would be very nice. But yeah, as I said, do let me know in the comments what you think about uh, about this PvP mode coming to zombies. I'm definitely not a huge fan of it, but I know a lot of people might might just be into that. All right, get Juggernog right there. I actually didn't have Juggernog, which is pretty interesting. And I really need a large backpack. And also, I'm pretty sure that when I bought that red worm, I did have Tombstone, but my Tombstone was not there. I don't think I lo lost, like, good stuff, but I did lose something, so... Okay. You see, something like this happens, and then a team just sits up there on their roof and watches you die or something. You know, it's not gonna be, like, the, the best thing ever. If you ask me. Alright, I'm gonna go grab another Cell Revive, actually. I don't want to make this video, like, three hours long. Uh, there's a lot of discussions that we can we can do about this. And I, I just know that there's a lot of people upset with the game right now. Because we're actually not getting the content that this game needs. Because this is a paid game. And it's not free or anything. And we were really expecting for some new maps or... For more content in the game but i guess this is gonna be the biggest update for the game so far and i'm definitely a bit excited about it but i'm also taking all of this with a pinch of salt because you know by the end of the day the day it's not gonna be that much content so you know it might be it might be a bit frustrating to go in the game finish everything in the first two days and then again you have to wait two more months or three months for new content so definitely this might be one of the best updates for for zombies yet but again it's not gonna fix the issue of the game and that is uh, the lack of content it's gonna make it a bit better because people will have to grind just a tiny bit more but i'm pretty sure that stash is just gonna fill up just as just as fast and i'm gonna buy that self revive unfortunately i don't have a backpack but you know what? I don't want to sit in tier 3 too much. I don't really need anything from here right now. And there is a very, very nice spot where you can get good things. And I don't know if you guys know about it, but it's right here. At Pop of Power. Exactly where that delivery cargo contract spawns in. So, I'm going to take this very nice drone thingy that takes you around the map. I don't know how it's called. I never know how these things are called. And I'm going to go there and see if I can find a backpack. But yeah, let me know in the comments, guys. What do you think about all of this? Do you think this new update is going to be any good? Or do you think that this update will just be, you know, the same old thing like we had in Season 2 or in Season 1? But not going to lie, the Season 1 content was pretty nice because the schematics were great. And Season 2 was not that bad because we had Max of Holding, which was pretty cool. But I, I feel like Season 3 schematics are just going to be a huge letdown. But who knows, maybe it's actually going to be cool. Maybe the new Warlord is going to be better than we expect. We know it's going to be at Shahin Manor. And maybe the new Dark Aether is actually going to prove itself to be a real challenge. And that it's actually going to make the game better. But who knows. Okay, we did find a medium backpack, but it's not a large. That is fine though. But definitely this is my go-to spot for whenever I'm, uh, I'm trying to gear up again. And, you know what, it's gonna be fine. I think we definitely have enough to get out of the game. I don't have enough essence. It says that I have 30,000, but I actually only have 4,000. I got bamboozled there for a second. Oh, I've never been underneath here. Look at that. But I think it's actually time to, to get out of the game. We definitely stayed enough. We, we did talk about the things that we wanted to talk about. And... Of course, the game is going to be a bit better because we're going to have a third rift and everything. But at the end of the game, it's just not enough content. It's just not enough content. Let's just hope that Season 4 is not going to be another reloaded update for, for zombies. And it's actually going to drop at the launch of Season 4. But it's very unlikely. Anyways, I'm going to go exit right now. I want you guys to let me know your thoughts in the, in the comments below. I really read all the... All the comments you guys drop and uh yeah i guess uh make sure you smash the like and subscribe button and i'll see you guys in the next one all right thank you and bye bye